Hi everyone, this is Beauty by Italy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna review and show you guys my first impressions of the Makeup Life Key Light 2.0 Master Package. Sorry I'm gonna have to do the voice of God voiceover for today because I was so excited with my unboxing that my um, real-time voiceover became so unintelligible. It was just, you couldn't understand me. I was blabbering all over the place. So this is what you get with the Key Light 2.0 package. You have the Master Carry bag and the stand bag. It's both made of pleather and it doesn't feel like you're gonna poke holes through it. It feels really sturdy. You can close it via this drawstring top as well. So these are the two light stands. They're pretty compact in terms of like the volume and the space they take up, but they're actually a little bit heavy. You open them by pushing the leg outwards and I think this is much faster and easier than my typical ring light stand. And this one just easily flips out like so. The Master Carry bag is also in the same pleatherette material. It feels really sturdy as well. You have a shoulder strap or you can carry it by the handles. I like this sort of um, zipper detail because it feels like it hides the teeth of the zipper. It feels secure but I'm not really sure if that makes any difference. And then on the back, you have this sort of sleeve and another zipper. I'm not really sure how to use this feature. I mean, I know with it closed, it's a pocket, but when it's open, it has a sleeve like this, but I'm not sure how to use that. But yeah, that's a feature. So as I'm opening the bag, you can see that the two sections are covered by mesh. This is great because it means that the contents are never gonna spill out. It has a lot of like all of these little gadgets and gizmo, so it's nice to have like just that extra protective seal. So as I'm opening up one section, the first thing that I see are the two clamps. So this is really nice if you don't have a lot of space for the light stands. You can just clamp the makeup light onto any smooth and shiny surface. And yeah, they attach through those screws. The nice thing about the clamps is that um, you can just clip them onto any mirror or maybe a tile or a wall surface. So that saves up a lot of space. And then there's also this instruction manual on how to attach all the parts together. And these are the Keylight 2.0 LED panels. They measure 7.25 by 9 inches. It's actually almost the size of an iPad. They're very slim and they're not that heavy. I also really like these felt pouches. They feel really sturdy and I feel like my light panels will be extremely protected from dings and scratches. This is what the gold version looks like. They also have it in onyx, which is like a graphite color. I like gold. It actually looks a little bit red, like rose gold. So what I was really hyped about the Makeup Light 2.0 is that they take a temperature of 4800 kelvins. My ring light is at 5500 kelvins and at first glance, I thought it was the perfect white light. But actually, as I got more intimate in using this light, I actually start to notice that it's a little bit blue. So I'm excited to see how 4800 looks like because TML says that it's the perfect and true daylight. Over on the second portion, the first thing I'm seeing here is two of the clamps. Now this is a really good idea if again you don't have space but if you also don't have a clean smooth surface to clamp on, you can just clip the makeup lights to your tables. So you can't always use the light stand. It's not, you're not always going to have all the space you need as a working makeup artist. So I like that they have not just one but two options for attaching and carrying your light. And then these two Ziploc bags, they contain a quick release mechanism, so we're gonna go through that later. Right now, I'm just taking out the two goosenecks. 
they're pretty unique i haven't seen a gooseneck like this before so i'm pretty sure it works only with the makeup light so the accessory bags just contain the same thing here is the power cord assembly it's 14 feet long and it has a touch style flicker free switch i kind of don't like how it takes too long to turn it off you need to hold the damn thing for three seconds and then you just have a bunch of international adapters i like how it has the working and international successful makeup artist in mind i don't think i'm gonna be using these in the near future but it's nice to have them anyway so let me just take the Kilai 2.0 panel i'm gonna put it upside down so i can attach the quick release assembly so each pro package comes with two of these quick release assembly kits one for each light panel i'm just gonna take out the contents of each so you have their lash piece and companion piece i just put down an extra washer and i'm gonna put down this allen wrench and i'm just gonna Disassemble the latch piece from the companion piece by unlocking the red tab. You just put it sideways from its downward position. Yeah, you can see I'm like figuring out how to do it. <laughs> it's there, so it just like slides off. And inside it, you just have an extra con conical screw and a washer. So I'm just like trying to figure out how that happened. And here I am being a fake ass bitch and pretending that I can get it all in one go to show you guys. So that's the magic of editing that I just wanted to give a sort of sneak peek behind of. See, that's me. I keep dropping shit all over the place. This is the lash piece. It's the one that's permanently stuck on the light panel. I just have a screw running through it and I'm going to use the included allen wrench to fix it on the light panel. I'm just going to go like several motions circular and tighten it. Trying to keep the, um, the piece straight in place. And then once I'm sure everything is straight and tight, I'm just going to attach the companion piece to it. This is the one that you put on your fixtures. You can lock it by moving the red tab downwards. This is the lock position, so it's not going to move from there. I'm just going to quickly test the grip of the quick release attachment. This is me screwing on the gooseneck to the latch piece. You're actually supposed to have the latch piece and the companion piece separate and then have the companion piece stock onto the mounting accessory and then lock it in but because this is the part where I get excited and just do like whatever comes to mind first so I'm just lifting it by the gooseneck and then like moving it around it feels really secure actually so that was my unboxing and first impressions of the Keylight 2.0 Pro package I wanted to do comparative shots with the light but because my camera is still in automatic setting and I'm not sure how to do the manual setting um, all of the photos just came out looking the same, so maybe I'll do this comparative shot next time. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye!